So this uh, failure mode and effects analysis is the, the first and one of the more simple uh, methods that we can use to quantify uh, risks and, and to compare various risks for a project. So it's basically a scoring model used for these evaluations. And for each risk, we can break it down as an example is the list uh, of risk failure. So we would identify what that is, and then we would want to evaluate a severity or impact uh, of that risk. Uh, after that, we want to or need to have the probability or likelihood that that would actually come to pass. So it looks a lot like our risk assessment uh, basic fundamentals. And then to that, normally what we add is an undetectability. So are we going to have early warning? Are we going to be able to respond or maneuver around the risk? If we can't detect it, the chances of us actually being able to respond to it in a timely in, in a way or to avoid it becomes less. And so we have this undetectability uh, factor D that we add in here. And so between the three of these parameters, really what we're doing is we're putting them together to calculate the risk priority number or the RPN. And so the RPN is the product of the three, the severity, the likelihood, and the undetectability. And so we can see an example in the table uh, shown here. Uh, so we have a series of risks, you know, tight schedule, uh, technology not acquired, changes in scope, cost ex uh, escalation, economy going into recession. And, and in each case, what we've done is we've identified the severity, the likelihood and the undetectability. So we're using a scale of one to 10. Uh, and in this case, uh, one is on the benign side or, or low impact and 10 is severe. And so the larger the number, the higher our concern and the higher the or the greater attention we would want to pay to that particular risk. So uh, from there, we can decide which risks to target for mitigations or avoidance or other risk uh, strategies. So that's it. It's a, it's a fairly uh, simple problem. We've already had to consider non-numerically our, our probability and our impact. We're adding undetectability to this. We're giving numbers to it and it gives us an aggregate comparator so that we can see numerically which ones are, are the risks of the most concern.